What's up y'all? This is Andy Story with Wild Lumens and today we're making hamburgers carnivore diet style and what that means is no added flavoring seasonings or condiments because we want to get to the bottom of which meat is the best tasting. Today's contenders are Belcampo's Farms, Sprouts grass-fed ground beef, and grain-finished ground beef from Costco. Let's talk a little bit about what we got here. So this meat here from Belcampo is by far one of my favorite meat sources. It's a regenerative farm in Northern California and they make a fantastic product. This meat is actually 20% fat, 80% meat. So the 20% fat ratio, or 80-20 fat ratio. This grass-fed meat from Sprouts, I believe is a 10% fat, uh, fat content. So we have a 90-10 fat ratio. And I believe this Costco grass finish is probably in the same area around the 10% uh, fat range. The other thing I want to mention is that the pricing on these are somewhat similar. This Belcampo meat, which is of a higher quality source, comes in around six to seven dollars per pound. However, there's a lot of times where they have really good sales. So if you keep an eye out on uh, their website and their social medias, you can usually uh, hone in on a good deal. This meat here from Sprouts, the grass-fed beef, this was $5.99, but I believe the day I bought it, it came in at $4.99 just because they had a little sale going on there. So $4.99 a pound. And of course, Costco is gonna be your best deal this meat here was $2.99 a pound, and I bought it at a, uh, in a bulk rate for, I think it was six pounds. It comes in a big old container. But uh, it's definitely the least quality because it is the grain finished, and who knows where these cows have been raised. But don't let money be a factor for you not to be able to eat meat. If you're able to buy it at a lower price because that's what your budget allows, then go ahead and do that. I have no beef with that at all. Another game changer in the hamburger making or the hamburger meal prep world is a hamburger press. Now this sounds kind of funny, but I got this as a Christmas present a few years ago. And ever since I've been a carnivore, this thing has gotten a lot of use. These are probably gonna save you tons of time, especially if you're trying to meal prep in the morning, like what I do, where I'll cook six burgers for breakfast and then make another six burgers for lunch. And then who knows, maybe I'll have a steak at night or some other meat. But what I'm trying to say is if you make a lot of burgers, you need to get one of these just so that you can save time because time is money. So here's the how-to section of this video. What I like to do is make little meatballs just so that they're pre-prepped for the hamburger press. Oh, and that's about the size that you need. Um, I make my hamburgers a little on the smaller side, depending on what you want. Today, I'm just cooking these for myself because everybody's out of town. So I'm gonna make little mini burgers probably quarter pounders, maybe almost a half. So these two guys here are ready to go. Uh, let's do the grass-fed beef from Sprouts. Now the Costco beef, he's ready. So here on my plate, I have Belcampo, Sprouts, and Costco. The meat looks good. I would say that's probably at least a pound of meat, maybe a tad bit more. So if these are a quarter pound each, probably a pound and a half. All right, let's get the hamburger press going. So I'm gonna do my Belcampo meats first. You just basically put that on there. Press down. And voila, you got 
a nice beef patty. So Belcampo one is done. And if you really want to get fancy, you can get some wax paper and put it in between so that if you want to store them, they won't stick to each other. But since today I'm putting these straight on the grill, I, I really don't need to use the wax paper. Now the crazy thing is, is the sprouts meat here is a little less uh, high quality compared to the bel campo. So as you can see, it got a little funky and spread apart in the middle. I think there's a lot of moisture in the meat, just the way that they had it done. So when I lift up, oh, this one worked. So when I lift it up, it just took a little bit of the meat with it. So that one's actually not too bad. Now Costco. And the hamburger press is just really good at keeping your patties consistent. I used to make them by just going like this, but it would take longer and the consistency just wasn't there. Here you guys can see that those are the Costco patties. They look pretty good. Here is the Sprouts grass-fed patties. And here are the Belcampo grass-fed regenerative farm patties. You can really see the, the, the amount of fat content in these. All that white stuff is uh, definitely uh, the fatty tissue. Nice. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of salt. I forgot to mention that before. I know I said no seasonings, but I don't really call salt a seasoning anymore. It's more of like a uh, essential nutrient. If carnivore diet or ancestral diets or keto diets or anything in the world of trying to make your life better, healthier, awesome, then do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna keep on making this type of content, stuff that's gonna help you out, inspire you, motivate you, do all that good stuff. So I really appreciate it if you would do that. Thank you. Let's just take a little bit of this sea salt. I usually use Redmond, uh, Redmond sea salt, but we have a little bit of extra sea salt from a different brand. Our patties are salted and ready for the barbecue. Gonna try not to mix up my meat. Got the Belcampo, Sprouts, Costco. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the barbecue and remember which ones are which so that I have an accurate assessment on which one tastes the best when we pull them out. Let's go heat up the barbecue, get that thing nice and hot, and then we'll put these guys on and then bring them back and do a little taste test and see which one's gonna win. All right, guys, check it out. We got our hamburgers. We got Bel Campo over here. We got Sprouts in the middle. And then we got Costco holding down the end. We'll let these guys cook a little bit longer, flip them, bring them inside and eat them up. All right, guys, we're back inside. Our burgers are ready to be devoured. Bel Campo on the right, Sprouts in the middle. Costco holding down the end. Let's see what happens when we bite in. Who's gonna win? Here we are. Let's dig into these burgers and see who's gonna come out with the lead. I'm gonna try the Bel Campo first. Looks tasty, nice and greasy. Oh, that's good. All right, we got Sprouts grass fed. Let's see how Sprouts holds up. Tastes pretty good too. Now let's see what grain finished Costco's meat tastes like. I gotta do another bite of that. Hmm, this is gonna be a tough decision to make. I'll try Bel Campos one more time. I cook my burgers medium rare, just so you guys know. I think that's a good way to get the true taste out of the meat. All right, so I'm gonna go from a taste point of view. It's really hard to compete with grain finished beef. It always has this really nice taste to it just because I've been used to eating that ever since I was a kid. When I was a kid, grass fed really wasn't a thing and I'm pretty sure everything was, or most of the stuff was grain finished. And so I'm accustomed to that taste. So. I want to say the Costco meat is gonna, from a taste perspective, taste a little bit better 
than the other two meet. But I have Belcampo right behind that because I, I, I like the taste of Belcampo as well. And then we have Sprouts. So from a taste perspective, I have Costco grain fed here, Belcampo here, and then Sprouts like right here. Only reason is the Sprouts tastes a little bit uh, dried out or just doesn't taste as as good as these other two. Belcampo is very, uh, has a good about amount of fat and moisture content. So it's really, it's got a good taste to it. So what do you guys think? Where do you source your meat? Do you care about grain fed or grass fed? What's the best regenerative farm near you? I'm really interested because I want to do uh, some interviews with uh, regenerative farmers. So if there's any nearby or in Colorado or any other state, who knows, maybe I'll just travel out just to get another travel experience going. Let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you taking the time to see uh, who wins this battle today. And I'm off to make another video and I hope you join me on that one as well. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.